morning everybody and welcome back to another video now today i have a little bit of a different video for you guys so i was going through some of my old sd cards and my old gopros and i found this footage that i thought i lost because I, th I came out of the water after this dive and i couldn't find this video but i guess it's saved and i just found it now so i haven't made a video about it before but um this video is the first Ulua that I ever put a spear in. Now it's not my first Ulua, it's actually my dad's Ulua. Um, me and my dad, uh, when we were out on a dive, he put a shot in, uh, in, in Ulua, and then I went down and took the backup shot to make sure we secured the fish. And I actually posted it on my Instagram, so for those of you who followed me for a while, um, it's actually this Ulua right here. Now this was posted in March 11th, 2018, so uh, three years ago, over three years ago. And yeah, this was the first Ulua that I'd actually ever seen. And um, I haven't seen uh, one this size in a super long time. Uh, but yeah, I found the footage of me and my dad landing this fish. And so I thought I would share it with you guys. It's a pretty cool footage and um, I'll go over afterwards like what was going through my head and how we landed it, what happened, stuff like that. But before we do that, I think we should go ahead and get to the clip. So I'll see you guys after. Real quickly guys, before the clip starts, I just wanted to let you guys know that I just, I don't usually plug my social media, but I just made a new TikTok account and it's gonna be dedicated to like short clips, short how to's, um, content that I won't usually post on my main channel it's going to be there so if you guys want some extra content that's uh, not going to be on my main channel uh, you can find that on my TikTok if you guys want to follow it if not that's perfectly okay um, I totally understand that but uh, if you guys want to get some extra content watch some short clips you know just strictly spearfishing stuff um, you can go and head down to my TikTok it will be in the description below uh, next to my Instagram you guys can check that out as well and yeah so it's going to be in the description at the bottom just check it out if you can if not no worries but uh yeah let's let's get into the video
right guys, so that is the clip. That is the first Ulua that I ever saw and the first Ulua that I ever landed and helped to land. Um, first of all, I was a bit bummed like after the dive, like immediately after. Um, I didn't hold on to it for very long, but immediately after the dive, I was a little bummed that I wasn't the one who took the shot. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. Like I was just happy that afterwards, I was just happy that uh, we landed this trophy of a fish. It was, we ended up weighing it. It was 30 pounds on the dot. And that is by far the biggest fish I've ever shot. And it still is, um, not my fish, obviously, but it is the biggest fish that I ever landed, the biggest fish that I ever put a spear in. And because uh, my other biggest fish, my first Ulua, uh, my true first Ulua was 17 pounds and this one was 30 pounds, so quite a bit bigger. Um, so what was going through my head? Uh, what happened was my dad actually, we found this hole and it was his turn to take a drop. So he goes down, he looks in the hole and he takes a shot. Now earlier I had seen a Roy go in that hole. So I thought that's what he shot at. Um, but when I noticed that he wasn't like immediately pulling out the fish on his that was on his spear, like he just kind of let the spear go and started coming back up to the surface. And then I also noticed that the his shooting line was going back and forth and back and forth underneath this ledge. But if it was a Roy, it, the Roy wouldn't be moving the line that much. So I was like, oh, he shot something big. So that at that point I was like, okay, now I gotta go down because. If it is like in Ulua or something, or something of that size that's able to move his line like this, I probably should put a backup shot in it. So I went down to the bottom and I looked in this hole and I could see something big kicking up sand all over the place. And then it comes out on the left side and I saw it, it was in Ulua. And I, at first I was like, oh my God, uh, it's, it's in Ulua. Like I had never seen one nearly that size before so um, I, I shook it off Im almost immediately, pulled the trigger, got a good shot in its body uh, and then I went back up to the surface and I, st I started pulling it up um, and afterwards we actually talked about it and we were, we think that my dad's line was going to snap if I hadn't put in my backup shot because uh, if you look in the video it's dragging his shooting line all across the edge of the ledge and um, you can see it like taking heads of coral off and shaving off rocks. And um, when I put in that backup shot, I was able to pull it actually away from the, the ledge so that it, my dad's shooting line wouldn't get scraped anymore. And we actually looked at his shooting line after the dive and it was frayed in all kinds of places. And there were several places where it looked like it could have snapped. Like if the Ulua, the Ulua had taken one big head shake, uh, it probably would have snapped his line. So. Good, we thought it was a good thing that I put in that backup shot and I was able to pull it away from the ledge and um, uh, we think that might have been like the key to landing it. So um, that's why I wasn't super bothered that it wasn't my fish uh, but because I feel like I contributed, uh, contributed to actually landing it. So yeah, that's what was going through my head. That's what happened. We uh, ate that fish. We had that fish for like the entire week uh, for dinner and we actually gave a lot of it away to friends and family, our neighbors, and stuff like that. So uh, really a very memorable moment for me in my spearfishing career. Um, one of the most memorable, and uh, I'm super glad that I found this footage and was able to share it with you guys. So that's it for today's video. Um, I'm probably gonna try and go diving this weekend, so hopefully I'll be able to make another video this weekend um, for Monday or Sunday, but until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.